Hello and welcome to this Core Fun training video, which is on VirtuMart, the shopping cart system for the Joomla content management system, and the ability to create shopper groups and assign shoppers to those groups in order to get special pricing in the system. So the first thing we're going to do is log in to the Joomla backend, the administrator area, and we're going to go to Components, and we're going to go to VirtuMart. VirtuMart being a shopping cart component inside Joomla. Once we bring up uh, the shopping cart, what we're going to do first is actually create a new shopper class. Shopper classes are defined under Shopper, and then as you can see, we have an option to list shopper groups that are already in existence, as well as to add a shopper group. Let's look at the shopper groups that we currently already have. Default, Gold, Level, Member, Standard, and Wholesale are five different shopper groups that we already have defined. The default is default, which is what is shown to anyone who has not actually logged into the site. The other shopper groups would only be available to people who actually are assigned to that shopper group and who sign into the website on the front end and can then see different pricing based on them being signed in. So if I wanted to add a new shopper group, I would come up to New, and then what I could do is I can decide whether or not this shopper group that I'm creating is the default or not. What we're going to do is we're going to call it Distributor. We have an option whether or not to show prices including tax. And uh, I recommend against that unless you happen to be in a country that charges value-added tax in the United States, this should be unchecked. Price discount on default shopper group. What this is is that uh, if you put a positive amount there, if there is no specific price for this shopper class for a product, then it's going to add this percentage to the product's price. So if you wanted to mark up pricing for certain shopper groups, you could do it here. If you put a negative percent, a negative amount there, then that is a percentage by which to decrease the uh, price if there is no specific price assigned to that shopper class. If you only want the shopper class to really apply to uh, specific products, then I would suggest leaving nothing here. We'll go ahead and leave it blank. So in the group description, then we can come down here and say this is the class for our distributors. Now obviously if they're distributors then we would expect that we would be giving them better pricing than what the the regular public sees. So we've created this shopper group we've called a distributor and what we did was we left it blank as far as the percentage to mark up or discount because we are going to go in look at our individual products and we are going to assign pricing for that shopper group. So what I'm going to do now is actually assign pricing for a product based on that shopper group. So I'm going to go over to products, I'm going to go to list products, and then I'm going to select this product right here, active liquid calcium concentrate. I'm going to select that product on the left, and then I'm going to go to the top where it says list prices. So I'm going to go ahead and click list, click list prices. And what I can see is that I have a series of prices, one through five, already set up and they apply to the shopper group default. And so the price begins at $17.99 and declines to $11.99 as I buy more and more volume of product. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create a new price for my distributors. So if I'm a distributor and I'm buying from the site, what is my price going to be? So what I'm going to do is click New. Then we're going to give it a price. Let's say that a distributor can buy the active liquid calcium concentrate at $8.95. So I put the price in. Then I assign the shopper group, in this case, distributor. Now I could set up the same type of situation 
for the shopper class distributor, the shopper group distributor that I have for the default shopper group. I could go ahead and say 1 to 10, I give it 895, then 11 to 30, I give at uh, say 695 or whatever the case may be for my different product pricing. But in this case, what I'm going to say is that all my distributors, regardless of the volume, are going to be buying at $8.95 per product. So I'm going to leave the quantity start, and I'm going to leave the quantity end as blank. After filling this information in, I go ahead and I click Save. Now, I have a shopper group. I have at least one product that is set up to have a special price for that shopper group. But right now, I don't actually have any shoppers who can sign in and see that. So let's pretend that Fred Smith has sent me an email, uh, filled out my form, applied to be a shop, uh, uh, one of my distributors, and he's now one of my distributors. So how do I make him a distributor in the system so that when he logs in, he can actually see his pricing on the items that distributors get special pricing for? So the way that I would do that would be to go to admin, then I would go to users, and let's go ahead and say that the uh, gentleman who's going to become a distributor for my company, his name is Fred Smith. So I can search for either his username or his real name and go ahead and find him. Okay. There he is. There's Mr. Fred Smith. I'll go ahead and click on his username to go ahead and open him up for editing under the VirtuMart user list. Okay. So where I'm going to go now is over to his shopper information. And if you'll notice, under shopper group, he is currently set to default. Now I'm going to change that from default to distributor. And then go ahead and click save. And that now is going to assign... Uh, Mr. Smith to the user group distributor. Now what does that do for him? Well when Mr. Smith comes back to my store if he's not logged in then he's not really going to see any difference. So if we go to the active liquid vitamins and minerals and look at active liquid calcium concentrate we will see that the price is set at $17.99 but if Mr. Smith, who is now a distributor, goes ahead and logs in using his username and password, then what we will see as we scroll down, now we're back on the Active Liquid Vitamins and Minerals page, is that the price is now $8.95. So by assigning, by creating user groups and by assigning users to those user groups, um, then you can actually show different pricing and actually have different levels of shopper within your site. This was a training video by CoreFun Inc. www.corefun.com that's C-O-R-F-U-N.com on how to manage uh, shopper groups within the Virtumart shopping cart system.